Ready? Come on up. It's all happening up here. This is the boiler. There's no fire in the hole yet, but it's ready to go. The steam line has been insulated. We did have a trial run with the bare copper line, but there was a huge amount of condensate. Steam, the steam was very wet and not very efficient. It did turn uh, the engine, but uh, there was probably as much water as steam. So we hope that with the insulation there's going to be more steam and less water. Uh, insulation of the steam pipe consists of uh, mineral fiber or mineral wool which is uh, used in uh, wood stoves as insulation in wood stoves and uh, of course also in boilers. And uh, in my boiler in particular I have uh, it's all one inch uh, mineral wool mat. It was a hell of a job to put it onto the pipes and inside I, I do I try something that uh, may or may not be successful. I'm using some uh, foam pipe insulation. Take some of that pipe insulation and I start I, uh, dipped it in boiling water and well it shrank a little bit so maybe it's not going to do too badly with the steam. Uh, pi regular pipe insulation hopefully it will withstand the heat. See it starts a long time. <laughs> yeah. it started, but we have all day. <laughs> I worked at uh, a comfort welding as machinist in a machine shop and I started there just about the same months that the softwood lumber dispute started. And that was uh, comfort, the logging equipment maintenance was comfort welding's uh, bread and butter. Mm -hmm. So I worked there for two years. In those two years, the very first week I worked 40 hours. And that was the only week I worked 40 hours. <laughs> so it was getting worse and worse and eventually it went down to five hours. So I said, uh, you know, I'm going to I'm going to be here 40 hours a week. You let me do what I want, and I do your work first priority. Oh yeah. What are you going to do then? He asked. Uh, I'm going to build a steamboat. Sure. So that's, that's how it started. You did some work. So you're you're the master welder. Huh? He's the one who welded it. He did, he did, he did yeah. the main part. I'm out of here. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, that the smoke comes out at the right place. That's good news. Wow, that's neat. Pull it back. Oh yeah. Well, and uh, on my blueprint is only one lever. But these two, they they, they, they work like that. No. For whatever reason, I don't know. So I would have to pull they're, both they're together. Both together, right? Then it goes backwards. Yeah. Oh. Wow. There, you see here, it moves. Oh, okay. So that changes the valve. Yeah, and and there it moves it too. And uh, well, that the, the, that's because they're uh, they're 90 degrees offset. Because oh. if they were 180 degrees, uh, if it had top or the oh. or bottom that center, it wouldn't it start would anymore. Oh. So there's always one that pushes the other for a little while. That 
it's not very continuous. I got the shoe with that. 